It's like, you're like really putting your head into it. That's why like when a guy is going down on you, you're never like looking at it. You're like looking up because you're like, I don't want to see someone down there like. Anytime anybody's ever gone down on me, I've just been appreciative. Cone or cup? Cones. Cones. Cups. Cups. You gotta just get right down into it, all right? I went to school with this kid named Brian, and he used to eat out of a cup exclusively. It's the only thing that he would do. That boy, you wanna know what else he did? He also put his mouth directly on the water fountain. So now any person that eats out of a cup, I associate with Brian, and when you're eating off of a cone, that's just for you, baby. It's self-sustaining. Third grade? That's what I said. You're talking about a third grader who ate out of a cup? Mm -hmm. I shit my pants in the third grade, and now I'm 28, that. so I don't shit my pants now. Third grade is also where I learned how to multiply, and I still multiply to this very day. Mm -hmm. Maybe he does still eat a cup, but that's because Brian sounds like a great guy. I'd love to know Brian. You have no boundaries if you're eating out of cone. You want to eat the container that you're eating from? Well, that's taking care of the environment. People who eat cones, they care about the world. But you can recycle a cup. When you get a cone, it goes everywhere. It's a race to the finish as soon as it hits your hand because you have to... The stains everywhere? Not... I gotta... I, now I have to explain to the guy in my bed, oh no, that's not diarrhea, that's chocolate ice cream because I had a cone in my bed. I'm sorry, you said you're 28 years old and this is an issue for you? No, it was an issue when I was 25. I eat it out of a cup now. Don't have any stains on my sheets. Well, from ice cream. The problem of people thinking that you've diarrhea, diarrhea. It's called diarrhea. It's called okay. diarrhea. Dier diarrhea. The problem of people thinking that you've diarrhea all over your sheets is a, is not contained by age. At any age, you could be accused of having diarrhea all over your sheets. I got a spray tan um, a while back, and I slept in a guy's bed, and I ruined his sheets. He thought I had shit the bed to the pillows because his sheets were brown. It's really a common problem for women. I'm not an expert on this matter, but I feel like your spray tan shouldn't be the exact same color as your shit. It's like a light brown, you know, like a light, like a light, like a light tan. Why are you getting a light brown tan? Yeah. Like I don't understand why bringing ice cream dripping into your bed is really that big of an issue when you already have shit stains going on. I don't have shit stains in my bed. I don't have shit stains in my bed. I'd like to ask uh, both of you two on the cup side of the argument, when is the last time that you shit the bed? Because it sounds like it was recent. La uh, Wednesday. Do but you last talk Wednesday, about it? not this Wednesday. No, I do not want to talk about it because legally I cannot. H Hannah, I just wanted to ask you something really quickly. Are you are you in a relationship? I don't I don't understand how this is relevant at all. That's not a fair question for her. I have parents. I have a brother. Are you in any sort of like a like a romantic relationship of any sort? She has parents, a brother. My brother and I look very alike, and it's so it would never work. They look so alike, it's basically like kind of like masturbating in a way. Do you guys ever mm -hmm. um, self-pleasure in the mirror? Very similar I haven't to that. done that yet. Oh. If you share your comb with someone, you might as well be having a menage a trois with them. You're okay, I'm sorry. Nothing They're wrong looking with that. at. I'm sorry, Jordan. Are you are you in a relationship? I'm sorry. It's just cutting out. Are you seeing somebody romantically? You know, you guys might have to uh, continue. I can't. Devin, are you seeing someone romantically? Cause you're coming after us pretty hard. Look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a great relationship with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I share a cone all the time. If you've never shared a cone, then you've never had love in your life. I've shared many a cone and that's because I've got so much love to give. Just like the love that the man upstairs gives to all of us in this conversation. Licking a cone is not the sign of love. You're licking the wrong thing, I'll tell you that much. I have no idea which, I don't even know what that's an allusion to. Speaking of Jesus, there's a reason why it's called the cup of blood of Christ. There's not a cone. That's because they want to keep that the cone sacred. And so they're not they're not just going to put it in the church. They're going to try and keep that specific to ice cream places. Maybe the Catholic Church wouldn't be in the position that it is it's in if it had cones instead of cups. Maybe the Pope should consider a rebrand. Oh, the Catholic Church is using their cones. That's for sure. They're putting their cones in everything. Cones have a little trap door at the bottom, so it leaks through, and then you're like, whoa, how did my new white shirt, my new white blouse get covered 
in red and brown and white. You know, that should only happen in a bedroom. I don't want to spend my time, my pleasure time with my ice cream trying to perform this horrible balancing act. You can wrap it in napkins, you can try to taxidermy that shit like your butthole, but you can't just let it. What is wrong with wrapping it in a napkin? When you try to bite the cone, the napkin's on it, and you're like, ew, is this napkin? What is this? Is this the cone? And then you're pulling it out, and then you're getting hair in your mouth, and then you're like, ah. It's all worth it for that last bite. Fast food ice cream, it has their wrapping on it. You rip off the paper wrapping, and then it has that glue part on it. Every single one of us ate that. We didn't even care that it was not edible. We didn't care that was paper. We didn't care that it was glue. We still ate it because it had that nice cream in it. We eat things even that are bad for us because we care about the environment that much. And that's what the cone movement's Absolutely. about. Think about any joyous occasion that's been recreated in film, always cone in hand. Hey Arnold, where do they eat their ice cream from? Cones, at all times. I'm sorry, how old are you? Hey Arnold, what year are we in? I don't watch cartoons anymore, really, but I bet you Rick and Morty has a cone and not a cup. I love um, Rick and Morty. And I bet Rick and Morty carry cones because aesthetically, a cone is much more beautiful than a cup. Cones are not for people who like ice cream, but for people who like Instagram. They're trying to get the perfect look. Also, I have a Rick and Morty spec. If anyone's watching this, you want to read it, I'll, I'll email it to you. And, and uh, I'm looking to, um, to get some work from that. That wasn't the right pitch. Thank you. Time to pitch it. When you go to Chipotle, how much extra is their guac? A uh, dollar fifty. I'll answer. And everyone knows that the guacamole is the best part. So if they're going to charge a dollar fifty extra for something, then obviously they're openly saying we know this is the best part. So we know that you're going to spend an extra dollar fifty to have this experience. And as an ice cream lover, I understand how decadent the cone makes it an experience. Sure, maybe you have to eat it a little faster. Maybe that has to happen, but do you want to know what it's for? It's for the experience of eating the cone. Yeah, the guac is extra, right? That's such a common Instagram thing. The guac is extra. You've never heard, yeah, I know the cone is extra. Guacamole is not a cone. And speaking of Chipotle, there's a reason why they offer the burrito bowl. It's because just like the cone, the burrito falls open at the bottom and makes a big mess and makes it look like you've diureted yourself at Chipotle. And that's not what happened. Even though you told everyone, you're shouting at everyone like, hey, this is not diarrhea, just so you know. It's just ble it's just beans. It's just beans. Okay, the cops are here, they're gonna take him away. And I'm like, <laughs> I, it's just beans, officer. That's all. You guys keep circling back to this point about making a mess with your food. That is absolutely none of those things have ever been a problem. When I eat a burrito, that's easy. That's no problem. And maybe you are the one person in the whole world who can eat a cone cutely, but I've never seen an adult eat a cone. It's always like, you're trying to get around, you know? You're like, it's like, like that. It's like, you're like, really putting your head into it and you're like putting everything you have into it. That's why like when a guy is going down on you, you're never like looking at it. You're like looking up because you're like, I don't want to see someone down there like. Anytime anybody's ever gone down on me, I've just been appreciative. So how do you eat the ice cream out of the cone? You like suck it like. You get a, you get a spoon and then you work it. You, you get work a it out of the spoon? Yeah, 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 you get they a spoon actually, I thought we were minimizing waste here. Now we gotta get a spoon with a- Have I you ever eat seen the someone eat? I eat? eat the spoon. The spoon, I eat the spoon, I eat you the paper. eat the spoon? I, yeah, I eat the spoon. Y'all ain't never been to a place with an edible spoon? When you're somebody no. who cares about the environment, every spoon is edible. That's something I'd like to say. That's why you're never shitting, because you're constipated, because you're full of plastic and paper. That's right, and there's no plastic or paper at my home because I care about the world. I'll happily it's do it. Uh, here we go, in my mouth. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I wish this had ice cream in it. Ooh, I wish I had ice cream. Gone. Why would so, anyone trust the taste of someone who just ate paper on camera? Have you never had paper? That's, you have I've to have never paper. had paper. You've Did never you stuck watch? a cupcake wrapper in your mouth. All right, let's see. I have a little, I have some sides here. You're gonna sides. wanna make that actually a lot smaller. Can you, you just wanna make it a little bit smaller. 
ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you this is not the first time that he's eaten paper. If you watch Rick and Morty, you eat paper. So the B story of my Rick and Morty spec is that Jerry download, downloads a guided meditation app, but it's a guided life. So it's kind of like a social commentary on like, oh, it's really gross. It's social commentary on Jordan, like- Jordan, do not swallow that because then you're proving your app. point you that you took can. too big of a bite. You took too big of a bite.